Hi guys, Danny Force here, your Dallas Fort Worth Realtor, joined again with Denise Donahue, aka the Mortgage Nerd of Georgetown Mortgage. And we're continuing our home buyer myth series, and we're on the third myth. Number three, the buyer pays for the realtor. They don't. That is one of the most common things I hear from somebody is, well, how much do I pay you for your services? Unless you're selling a house, you don't pay me for anything. Even if you're buying a new construction home, you still do not pay your realtor out of your pocket to buy the house, nor do you finance our costs either. Whether you go buy a $200,000 house with or without a realtor, that house still costs $200,000 to you. Exactly. So it pays to have free help to help you along the way. It's actually my job to negotiate a pay decrease for myself to get you a better deal to get into the house. I think part of the confusion is, okay, well, we know that they're, you know, we know that you're being compensated, so if the buyer isn't paying for you, then who does pay your services? It's actually the seller. In the listing agreement taken between a listing agent and a seller, there is a portion in there that talks about total commission. Of that, there's another box that says how much commission of that is being paid to the buyer's agent should they bring a buyer. And if you go unrepresented to the seller's uh, listing themselves, the listing agent gets all of it. So that so entire commission is already in. being built in and already paid for. Right. So whether you go up to them or to a builder by yourself, you don't get a better deal by going by yourself. It's actually a very common misconception that you pay for your own realtor. Yeah, I think that's where people get confused or where they think that they can get a better deal is, oh, if I go to this open house or if I go into this house without a buyer's agent, then I can get a discount on that home. And that's, that's not how it works. Actually, part of the contract in the agreement is it's already built into that. And so either the selling agent keeps it all or a portion of it goes to the buyer's agent that's representing you. And I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to go into the biggest financial transaction and have the seller negotiate that because they're going to have, the seller's agent is going to have the best interest for their seller, not necessarily for the buyer. So um, I think it is confusing for the common person out there, but you know, you don't, you wouldn't go into any kind of um, legal type agreement without an attorney or a lawyer. And I wouldn't uh, negotiate any kind of finance for real estate without a licensed realtor, so. Just remember, market value is still market value, whether or not you go at it alone or with somebody who knows how to negotiate contracts. So the house isn't worth more or less just because a realtor is or is not involved. So if you're looking to buy a house here in Dallas-Fort Worth, you know, ask for free help. Give me a call, 817-903-5442. Find me on the web, www.dannyforce.com, and I'll get you set up here with Denise to help you finance that home and get you into the best purchase position available. Take care.